Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Coffee with Codes. My name is Vishal Saw and today I have came up with a new programming question which has been asked in Wipro Automata Coding Test. So let's go through the question. First I will explain the program and the concept, then I'll explain the code. So let's begin. So let's read the question. During the war, the enemy battalion has planted a bomb in your bunker. Your informer has sent you a message of the enemy which contains a list having n number and n numbers and a key. Okay, so here n will be the size and a key number will be sent with a message. The number are used to construct a sequence to defuse the bomb. According to your informer, the logic to extract the sequence from the whole message is by replacing each number with the sum, the sum of the next key numbers. When the value of the key is negative, the number is replaced by the sum of the previous key numbers. The series of the numbers is considered in a cyclic fashion for the last key numbers. Okay, so here is a battle going on and someone has planted a bomb in your bunker. So uh, your informer have sent you a message. So your input will be a message, a uh, size of the message, which will be N or size. I'll take the variable size here and a key. A key will also be sent by the informer to you so that you can defuse the bomb and you have to extract the sequence to defuse the bomb by replacing each number with the sum of the next key numbers and if the number is negative then it will be replaced by the sum of the previous key numbers so and one more point is there the series of number is considered in a cyclic fashion means the numbers are arranged in a circle. So if here it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 has been written, so after 6, 1 will start again. So the number will be taken in a cyclic manner. So let's read the further question. The point to the function or method consists of three arguments. Size, as I told you, n, size, key, and the message representing the list of integers okay so and the output will return a list of integer representing the sequence to diffuse the bomb it the output will be the list of numbers which will diffuse the bomb so here as an example given input size is 5 key is 3 and the message is this array 4, 2, minus 5, 11, and 3. So, I'll explain the steps which is going to calculate and how it will find the sequence to diffuse the bomb. So, see the first operation will be 4. When the uh, number is 4, then it will see 3. The key is 3. So, 3 values in the right side to the sum of these values 2 plus minus 5 and 11 so see 2 minus 5 11 gives you 8 so this will be the first number of the sequence to diffuse the bomb so for 4 it will come as 8 and for 2 it is also a positive number so it will start from minus 5 11 and 3 so it will add up to 9 so 2 will give you 9 for minus 5 see here one of the point is mentioned that the key is negative. When the key is negative, the number is replaced by the sum of previous key numbers. Previous means if it is minus 5, then it will add up to 4 and one more, which is 3. Okay. So 2, 4, 3 add up to 9. Again, so minus 5 gives you the number 9 and 11 will give you this way. In the right uh, right way, 3 
after 3 it will go back to first one see in the cyclic matter it will go back to uh, starting and add 4 and 2 so see 3 4 2 add ups to again 9 11 and for the last value the last match is integer which is 3 it will come 4 2 and minus 5 will be sum as 1 so like this it will get the sequence to diffuse the bomb which is 89991. So this is the concept. Now I'll explain the code in both the languages in Java and C. So because many of the people, many of the students say, sir, please explain in Java and C. So for the convenience of the students, I'm going to make this video for C as well as Java. This video uh, I'm going to explain in C then look for the other video which uh, there will be one video which will be in Java okay so let's move to the coding section so here is our code in Java I have written this code in Java and for C uh, students you can refer to one more video which is after this video I have uploaded so you can see see from there I have explained the same coding in C language also. So let's see the code line by line. Import java.io.asterisk. This header, uh, everyone knows that I have used for input output libraries. And import java.util.asterisk. This uh, header file I have used for the scanner library, which will help me to take the inputs in the program. And I have given the class name bomb as we are going to diffuse the bomb here. So here is our main starts public static void main string ARGS. If you don't understand the keywords meaning of this line, so refer to my first video in Java. There will be a Java uh, playlist in our channel. There you can see the video where I have explained each and every keywords meaning why they are used here. Because if you are going to write the Java language in your CV or resume, then the interviewer is going to ask the meanings of these keywords, why it has been used in the main uh, line. So, so go through that video properly. It will be very helpful for the interview round. And here starts our main. So let's see what I've written in the main. I have taken one variable size for storing the size and the one key and i j for the loop and sum for the uh, storing the uh, sum of the values. So I am writing the values which uh, is given in the example size was 5, key was 3 and here I have initialized the object reader of scanner file so that I can take the inputs. Here I have taken the size as input and key also and after taking the size I have initialized ms for the message array I have, taken, I have initialized ms with the size of length and in this for loop I have taken the input of ms which is 4 comma 2 comma minus 5 comma 11 comma 3 this was the ms which is given in the example so uh, see i here i have started i from 0 and less than size as we know the index of the array starts from 0 and it will go to the less than the number of size see it is going to 4 so this was the index of array ms and here i have taken so from here our logic begins and let's understand how I have written the code. So first there is a one for loop I have started which is going to run from i 0 to less than to less than zero size. So and here I have declared sum is equals to 0 because for every iteration it will um, make the 0 null and it will start st uh, storing the sum from the fresh. 
and here I have used one if condition for what we have two conditions in this program that one is a positive number and one is a negative number for negative number it should add from the left side and from the positive number it should add from the right side for this reason I have checked that the value at the ith position is greater than or equal to zero if it is not it will go to the else part but if it is it will go to the if part so first check if the number is positive for the first index which is 4 so for the first index the value is 4 so we'll check the logic what I have written here I have uh, started our second loop which is j is equals to 1 and j less than equal to key means 1 2 3 it will go to from 1 to 3 and it will j will increase 1 by 1 so here I have written sum is equals to sum plus ms with position i plus j mod size i was 0 for the first index j was 1 so 0 plus 1 1 mod 5 size was 5 it will gives 1 so it will take the index 1 and add the to the sum which is 2 and after that j will increase to 2 so 0 plus 2 2 so it will add the second uh, second index value and after that it will go to 3 so it will uh, 3 plus 0 3 and 3 module 5 will be 3 and it will add the 11 and it will give you 8 so see here it is giving you 8 for the first value for 4 it is coming out as 8 so like this it will go or and if let's see for the third index what will be the addition for the third index third index see i will be 3 and j will be 1 so 3 plus 1 4 and mod 5 so it will add this value which is 3 plus uh, i will be 3 and j will become 2 so 3 plus 2 5 5 mod 5 will be 0 5 mod 5 will be 0 and see it again started from the beginning so 0 position value which is 4 will be added and for the last value j is equals to 3 so 3 plus 3 6 and which mod 5 will give you 1 again see 1 and this will add 2 and this will give you 9 so see for the third index it is after adding the last value it again started from the beginning which was the concept of cyclic uh, number this was this this is rotating in cycle so this was the concept for the positive numbers so let's see for the negative numbers what i have done for negative numbers in else part again i have run the same uh, loop from one to key j and will increase one by one in this loop there are two parts if and else i have checked one condition i minus j because for negative value it should go to the left side so i am subtracting from j i am subtracting i from j so if this value is positive then this statement will be iterated and if it is negative then this statement will be iterated so let's see for the index 2 what will be the output so see if i is 2 i is equal to 2 then j is 1 so 2 minus 1 1 which is a positive number so it will iterate this line so sum is equals to sum plus ms i minus j which is 2 minus 1 uh, 1 mod 5 and 1 mod 5 is 1 so it will add the index first so see 2 is added and after that j will become 2 so it will add 2 minus 2 0 0 is also a positive number so 0th place 4 is also added plus 4 is added and for the next one j becomes 3 i is 2 
and j becomes 3 which is minus 1 so it is going to go in the else part and do 2 minus 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 will be added to side which is 5. So 5 plus 5 minus 1 will be 4. See again it went to the last value. So fourth value will be added which is 3. So it gives 9. So see it is also working in the cyclic form. So this was the concept. And after this we will so see here we have printed the sum value. So it will print the value, the answer which will be 8, 9, 9, 9, 1. So this will be printed here. So, so let's run the pro code and see the output if it is coming correct or not. So see here, I have written the input and I am going to run it and see the in right output is coming or not. So we can see here 8991 which is our expected output and the code has run properly. So I have copied this link and I have given this link in the description so you can check out the code from there. And I know I have uh, made a coding video after a long time because I was working on a project which is very helpful for you all guys uh, because we have seen that everybody has the problem with coding so I was writing a book on C so who has zero knowledge in C also can read this book and by practicing and means uh, the questions which is mentioned in the book you can learn the C from zero to expert level it will be available nearly till at the end of the January or in the beginning of the uh, February. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Please subscribe to our channel so that you can practice more coding with coffee with codes. Bye.